This, uh, this is a tough day. It's not the not the favorite day of any, anybody, but uh, give us a sense of uh, how your year was and how you feel the uh, the team did, and uh, obviously a lot of success in the regular season, and, and then not the way you wanted to finish. Yeah, obviously, like you said, it's a tough day. A little bit earlier than we all had hoped for and, and almost anticipated a little bit, but you know, I thought we had a, a good group of guys here. It's always enjoyable to be here in this organization, you know, and we pride ourselves on winning. And we had a great regular season, and uh, that's a big thing. But, you know, we got to be able to translate that into playoffs. And we weren't able to do that. We ran into a good Orlando team. You know, I thought we played hard. Everybody gave forth an effort. It wasn't like we kind of shut down. I thought we all worked. We worked hard for each other in that room and for everybody in the organization. And, you know, I thought we could have went either way. But we, uh, we kind of disappointed ourselves with the season that we had. It's kind of interesting that, you know, in the past couple of years with this organization, those overtime games, those games that kind of could have gone either way, went your way. And it maybe just shows that it's not necessarily how hard you're working. You sometimes get a couple of bounces and sometimes you don't. Yeah, exactly. You know, you get a bounce here, there. The last two years that I've been here, we've had some overtime games and they've gone both ways on us. But, you know, you got to get those bounces at the right opportunities and get a little bit of luck that adds to it to help you move on. You know, those one goal games can go either way. That series with Orlando could be, a, we could still be playing right now and it could be a different story. But, you know, we didn't get our bounces. And, you know, we, like I said, we put our effort in and it wasn't like it was a, a mail it in. What is uh, your process in the off season? A little bit different. Some of the guys like to stay around here. You are going back, and uh, you get you get the farm uh, farmland farmed, getting it ready for for another season. Uh, I'm sure that's pretty exciting for you to, to spend some time with your family and get back home. Yeah, get things wrapped up around here, and then head home and uh, get in time for seating. So it'll be the first time in a long time that I've been home. I think it's think Dad said it was like nine years or something like that before I, since I've been there. So. It'll be, uh, it'll be a little bit different summer, like we said, getting home a little bit earlier than normal and uh, kind of more time to relax and kind of put depressed from the situation and get through the, get a little more, a little more family time in. Is that something that you look forward to is, is in the off season, getting a chance to, to spend that time, but also to maybe skate and, and to do some things up back where, where you're from and, and see some people you don't always get to see in the off season? Yeah, definitely big, big family thing. And then get to see guys that you don't get to see and, you know, get some time away from the rink. You know, when you go into the late June, it's pretty tough because you get back and guys are already starting to get into their summer programs and start getting into the heat of things again. So you get a little bit more time to just relax and you know enjoy enjoy a normal life a little bit at home first